good morning. This is Oasis from the Leech Town Studio. So we, first of all, we're not in, in, this, in the installation business of tile. We sell our own Moroccan tiles. We make it in Morocco. Uh, it's a family business. So we're located here in Charlotte, North Carolina. But we do install for our clients that are local here. Um, some uh, tricks and tips, or tips and tricks to install the leech tiles. First of all, your wall needs to be solid. Make sure your wall is solid. You can handle the weight of the tile. Um, the other thing, prep your wall. It's good to prep it. Give it some grip, like where, where the pin set is gonna uh, hold on to, and then your tile is gonna hold on to that pin set. Um, the other thing, measurements. Take very good measurements. Spend, tell your installer to spend a lot of time measuring. Put your lines, your squares, either go by three by three. Do a lot of time in that. A uh, lot of time spent in planning and design is, is good. It will make your installation go really smoothly, really quickly. So you put your pin set, you take one of your square tiles here. This is the four by four. And you basically put a pin set. It's like a cake. Just like satisfying sound. You know your edges are low, the middle has more. And we so passionate about this that uh, we wanna get our hands dirty and uh, learn how to install it myself as a business owner um, so what you do is you go ahead and you slowly push it in make sure it is very important to have it eight to sixteenth of an inch gap for your grout one of the misunderstanding of the leaf tile people say well it's gotta be in and off and no. Well, you, you have to do your best to make sure everything is aligned, everything is even. And if you're working with the authentic, the real Moroccan Zalish tile, eventually it's going to look off. But don't intentionally try to make it look off. It's going to look terrible. Don't do that. But if you're buying something called Zalish that it's not really Zalish, so made in Spain or, or France or China, all that stuff they sell, um, that's when people try to intentionally make it look off because it comes out of a, a machine or a factory and, and, and you know, so that's automation. This is handmade and it will eventually look off, but you have to do your best to make sure it's even. Again, like I said, 16 eighth of an inch, that is gonna help with the lines to be straight and your grout is gonna merge all that. And so yes, yeah, so here is a good one here. A little gap here, a little gap here. Because eventually some of the tile, because it's hand cut, it's not gonna be the exact four by four. The thickness also might be off. So that's when you do your best to make sure it's straight. But when you look at the whole thing, you will see some off edges, which is totally fine. Well, thank you again and we'll talk soon for another tip and trick.